It was Valentine's Day, and I am a pretty romantic guy. Got some wine, and I put some roses on the table. So I had planned this big dinner. I don't mind saying I put together a fantastic evening. Our first kiss was on our first date. Yvette is a little more impulsive than I am. I had bought this dress for Valentine's Day specifically. I wanted to look really nice for him. Wow. That's it? I'm speechless. I was just, like, very, very excited about the entire situation. You better stop that, or we're not going to get to the dinner I made for us. I think Yvette is the most beautiful woman in the world, and I just could not believe I was across from, like, so stunningly beautiful of a woman. Brian, this looks amazing. <gasps> My favorite. Can I have one now? You can have one, but save the rest for dessert. I was thinking something a little more interesting for dessert, actually. Might be able to accommodate you, but first we eat. We finish our food, everything's great, and at the end of the night, I go into, like, go into the bathroom, and as he's cleaning up, I end up, I did end up slipping in to, like, it was like this, like, little teddy. Are you done cleaning up? Absolutely. Good answer. Well, we're pretty interested in each other physically as it is, but obviously Valentine's Day, so we retired to the bedroom. My intentions for the night were to have uh, passionate sex. But it started on my mouth, like on my upper lip and my bottom lip, and it just was like, like tingly. Maybe if you had eaten like a, a hot pepper or something, but you ignore it because you're in the middle of like, you know, lustful lovemaking. Ah. I didn't realize until halfway through that like maybe he was uncomfortable. Then it started to get a little uh, tingly around, like, my penis as well. <sighs> so I'm sort of, like, you know, having sex and then also, like, what the hell is going on? You know, what is this? <sighs> Eventually, it became, like, a little too much to bear. Ah, I can't take it anymore. I'm burning up. Are you OK? I can't take it anymore. She was on top of me, and I just sort of, like, cast her aside and got up and, like, walked to the bathroom. Brian? Oh, man. What's wrong? What the hell's happening? Uh, what's happening? It's getting all red down there. I don't know. You're just racking your brain to figure out what on earth is, like, ravaging your body. I was freaking out. Let's just sit you down and relax. Obviously, you think about, like, STDs right away. What's happening to me? You probably just need to rest. I think it's getting worse. Can I get you some lotion? When I get a little rash on my arm, sometimes a little lotion clears it right up. This isn't a little rash, and it's not on my arm. This is burning like crazy. How about some ice? Why don't I get you some ice? No, no ice. I just thought it might cool things. I'd say, like, after about, like, five or ten minutes, it just started to get, like, redder and worse. It was very disturbing. I started, like, you know, going to the bathroom every five minutes and checking myself to be like, <gasps> like, what's going on? Like, are we both having, like, you know, some sort of situation here? You have it, too? Not that I can see. Is it getting any... Oh... It's getting worse. Oh. Brian, I'm sure it's not. Then what is it? I don't know. I gotta do something about this. Do you want me to go to the pharmacy? I'll ask them what to do. No, I gotta go to the hospital. The hospital? Yeah, I think something's seriously wrong with me. You never really want to go to the hospital, especially for something embarrassing like that. And I, you know, I thought he was joking, you know, because Brian doesn't really ever want to go to the doctor. I felt for sure like everyone was looking at me because I had like huge, like red, you know, splotchy marks like on my face. Brian? Yeah. Can you come with me, please? Can I come too? If that's okay with Brian. Yeah. When patients come in, 
and they're quite anxious, it just makes us a little more cautious. Now, typically, they don't come in and say, hey, I have it here, and by the way, I have it here. So they'll just say one part of the body first. Hi. I'm Dr. Horace. Well, Brian looks like you got a little bit of a rash on your face there. Yeah, and uh, somewhere else, too. Oh, I see. OK. Do you mind if I take a look? Sure. When did this rash first appear? Uh, pretty much just now. Uh, we were having sex, and uh, about two minutes in, it started getting this burning sensation around my mouth and on my penis. And uh, it's just getting worse ever since. OK. Yvette, are you experiencing anything? No, nothing. OK. Brian, do you have any allergies? Um, I have some food allergies, but I know I haven't eaten anything I'm not supposed to. So. Look, have you been using any products that you don't normally use, like soaps, lotions? No, nothing. OK. Um, OK. Well, usually patients, when they first come in and they have the oral or perioral rash or swelling or redness, we think of allergic reactions. Uh, Doc, do you think there's a chance it could be uh, sexually related? You mean like an STD? Uh, yeah, I guess that's what I mean, yeah. Look, it's unlikely. It's unlikely. But if you are concerned about that, then I'd suggest you follow up with your primary care physician right away. All right? They'll have all the tests. OK. You rely on a medical professional to ease your mind in a situation like that, and she really wasn't able to. In the meantime, I'm going to write you a prescription for something called hydrocortisone. It's an anti-itch cream. Uh, it'll help with some of the discomfort, but unfortunately, it's not going to reduce the redness. And if it is an STD, it's not going to help. Um, OK, thanks. Well, if you're really that concerned, then I would suggest getting tested right away, as it takes about a week for the results to come in. A week? Yeah, give or take. We love each other, we care about each other, but there's this really weird, you know, elephant in the room that's also on my face. I think he was more or less, like, freaked out that he was having a reaction and I wasn't. Yvette, I have to ask. What? Have you been cheating on me? What? None of this has ever happened before. And then two minutes into us having sex, bam. Get this red itchy rash everywhere. I mean, have you been seeing someone else? It was kind of like a guilty until proven innocent situation because, you know, I've had this blight on my body and I was pretty mad about it and with no other explanation. I blamed her. How do I know you weren't cheating on me? OK, don't you dare turn this around on me. How dare you accuse me of cheating? I mean, there was a lot of tension because, like, at the time, he didn't, neither one of us knew whose fault it was, if it was any of uh, anyone's fault. Just forget it, OK? Forget it. Well, fine by me. Great. I got an appointment with my doctor. I went in, and even though I have to go along with my normal life and go out in my day and do things, like, it's the only thing you're really thinking about. Our appetizer is a radicchio with a balsamic reduction. Our soup of the day is a roasted rash red, red pepper, a roasted red pepper soup with uh, featured pasta is a radiatory a creamy red sauce. And the feature dessert is a panna cotta with a blood orange jelly. Hi, we'll give you a couple of minutes with the menu. Especially like at work, it was more trying not to itch. You know, because you're in front of people, you're a representative of this establishment, and you're feeding them food. Pardon me. Whatever. He's blown me off, you know? Like, this is what's going on. That didn't sound good. What's up? Oh, Brian's just tense to that rash on his face. Yeah, what's up with that anyway? What happened to him? I don't know. You don't have it too, do you? <laughs> no. No, not at all. I just kept thinking, like, I cannot wait for the doctor to call to where it's like he realizes that I'm not, like, I'm not the culprit here, you know? Hello? Yes, this is him. Dr. Brown, hi, hello. Yes. Uh-huh, yeah. 
Hey. He's kind of like going through like some formalities or he's just saying anything besides like, it's okay, you know? And you're just like, get to it, man. You have the test results, okay? <laughs> That's great news. Yes. Thank you very much for calling. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Oh, it's clean. I'm good. I don't have a. It's I'm clean. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. When are you done? Half an hour. Perfect. Me too. I have a confession to make. Uh oh. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay. You remember our first date? I was so nervous beforehand that I chugged one of those protein shakes just to make sure I was pumped up for you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, I have a confession, too. I wasn't really running late. I just wanted to keep you interested, so I took my time getting here. Okay, well, it worked. So did your protein shake, apparently. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Since we're on the topic of confessions, remember that rash you had? Maybe it was that lotion I put all over myself. I'm like very, you know, generous when it comes to my lotion. I put it all over, I mean, pretty much every inch of my body, especially the more sensual areas. What? Why wouldn't you say anything? Uh, well, at first I wasn't sure, and then I thought you might be mad, and then I thought it would go away. I obviously put it everywhere. If it's not affecting me, why is it only affecting him in these two areas, you know? So it just didn't make any sense to me. You let me think I had an STD for a week? I don't know why. I'm sorry. Sometimes I leave out details. I just, I told you, he's very important. detailed. I just keep moving, you know?